example, and today I'll be showing you how I set up WSL2. Um, this particular setup installs the Ubuntu distro, but if you want other distros, I can show you on the official page. Uh, there are other ways to do that. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I want to run PowerShell as an administrator. Okay, and type in the following commands. WSL dash dash install. Okay, and we'll wait until that finishes. Okay, and the command successfully ran, and now it's telling me I need to restart my computer. So I'm gonna do that and be right back. Okay, and now we are back. Okay, so it's asking us to create a username for our Ubuntu distro. I'm just going to use any here's username and password. Okay, and that's it. Looks like we have Ubuntu up and running. I don't have any folders. So let me just make one folder. Uh, see, look, a good practice to run uh, once you get Ubuntu installed, you're gonna want to actually update your repositories and applications. And to do that, you're gonna wanna type sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade. It's gonna ask for your password that you just created. This seems like it's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video and be right back when this is done. So it's going to ask us to confirm all the installations. All right, and looks like that's finished. And just to confirm, you have everything installed and updated to the most recent version. A command you'd like to use to check is WSL-L and dash V. Okay, and looks like that's right. So we have Ubuntu and it's running and it's version two. All right, and that's pretty much it for getting Ubuntu up and running. But if you're fine with the command line, then that's it. But if you're into the GUI version of Ubuntu and you want to RDP right into it, then uh, follow along because I'll be covering that right now. All right, so uh, to get the GUI version of Ubuntu running, let's, uh, we're gonna have to run a couple of commands. So in the description, I'll have everything. So if you want to copy this um, word by word, go right ahead. So the first command is going to be sudo apt install xrdp. Okay. When that's done, we're going to install xfce and then the xfce goodies. Uh, this is actually going to be backing up our configuration file in case anything goes wrong. Configure the, the file. Don't forget to comment out these lines right here. For you, it will be not commented out, but I had done this before and it's commented out. And don't forget to add this line, X, start XFCE4. And then to start the service, all you need to do is type sudo this and XRDP start. Now you'll be able to remote into the computer using local hosts and whatever port you set. Mine was 3390. This comes up and now you're able to log in. So if you have any errors here, it's probably because you are putting in the wrong info. Just double check that. But if you got to the screen then you're, you're good to go. Let's, let's jump right into here and see Ubuntu. And this is it. So this is the graphical version and you get to see all your applications and everything right here. So you'll go to the terminal, IP add. This is the virtual machines IP address. Later in a couple of uh, videos, I'll show you guys how to actually access this virtual machine from a, another computer on your local area network. All right, and that's pretty much it guys. Uh, don't forget to stay tuned for the next one because I'll be going over Docker and how to set up some services on your local network. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any further video suggestions, like, comment, and subscribe.